Dr. Arjun, I just spoke to Natalie's mother. Oh, what did she say? She seems very reasonable and understanding. She will speak to Natalie. You are very lucky, Dr. Arjun. <laughs> he certainly is. I've seen other parents who are not quite rational or reasonable. You must thank Dr. Zara for coming to me first when she did, before things got out of hand. Yeah, looks like I have plenty to thank Dr. Zara for. At the risk of sounding a neck, for the last time, please keep a professional distance from all your patients, Dr. Arjun. We are treating children and teenagers. They're very vulnerable. You must be more circumspect. Yes, Dr. Raja. Zara, um, thank you and uh, sorry. What? Dr. Popular admitting he was wrong. Yes, so will Dr. Know-it-all accept the apology graciously? Apology accepted. Although, I reserve the right to gloat. You think Natalie faked those symptoms? I really don't know. It does seem that way. All that just to get my attention. Hmm. Why you, right? Go figure. Hey. Hey, Billy. Hmm. Have you submitted the application for what is work permit renewal? Not yet. Waiting for what? I'm doing some research. What research? The agency uh, just sent me some new mates biodata. Yeah. See this one? Uh, she has worked in a restaurant kitchen in Jakarta. That means she can cook. Hmm. Yeah, this one has experience looking after old people. Mm. Mm. Ah, this one better still. She knows how to do foot massage. This one even better. She knows how to play mahjong. Wow, that means uh, I can bring her to my mahjong session and pack up with me. <laughs> I'm looking for a meat or a mahjong kaki. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. Sorry. She's not picking up your call. She's with Latika at home. She'll be fine. Hmm. Day by day, I understand her less and less. That's very normal for kids at that age. Speaking from personal experience, or what am I talking about? You work with kids every day. I do. I'm also speaking from personal experience as a father. A father? I have a son. Hey, BD, did you see the TV remote control? Hey, what are you doing? Packing to go on a holiday? What holiday? You see uh, how Diana packed our cupboard? Not bad. Quite neat, right? Yeah, Diana folds the clothes like this and uh, take up a lot of space. Wati uh, rolls the clothes like that and uh, save space. Now you are praising Wati. I thought you wanted to change it. Madam So say, uh, it's good to change it once in a while. Uh, so that they don't get so comfortable uh, and don't take things for granted. But... Aiyya, Wati uh, may be slow and, uh, and blur, but uh, she has been with us for so long, already like family. How to just let her go? So we are not changing? What if we change her mate? Uh, worse than her, more blur, more slow? Yeah, remember that Lori? So clumsy. She always spill coffee. Yeah, Lori. <laughs> but you never score her, right? No. Anna, you were very sad when she left, right? True. She's your favourite mate. Yeah. Yeah, Samo. Huh? Still there to say yeah? Yeah. Where did Diana put the TV control? I go and check toilet.
Hello, Fitri. My mom is still here sending me home. What happened? She's looking at mates from the agency. Don't be scared. She can find another mate. You can find another mom. I got Lopang. Huh? Really? I didn't mean to hide it from you. I just... I just didn't know how to bring it up. I don't know how to talk about Navin without talking about my wife, Ankita. She passed away eight years ago and it took me a long time to get over it. No. It's not that I'm not over it. I am. It's just... It was, there was never the right time. The moment to tell you sort of passed. And then there was never the right... Well, I'm... I'm making a hash of this. No, it's okay. Really. Hey. I understand. So does... Navin... live with you? No, um... He's in boarding school in the UK. How old is he? Same as Joy, 16. And what's he like? He's a rascal. <laughs> so he takes after his father then? <laughs> He's much worse than me. Joy, do you want some more orange juice? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks, Latika. Okay. Wonder who that could be? Uh, maybe Grandpa forgot his keys? But he wouldn't try to beat down the door. Dr. Arjun. Excuse me, who are you? Dr. Arjun, where is he? He's not here. Uh, who are you? Why are you looking for him? Get out of my way. Whoa, please leave. I want to see Dr. Arjun. Joy! What? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm coming down to the A&E now. Sorry, I didn't hear the phone go off. That's okay. Just wanted to know if you had lunch. That's all. Joy! Are you okay? I'm fine, Auntie Mara. Who was this girl who marched in here? Ugh. I have no clue. She wanted to see Arjun. It was really scary when she collapsed. Mm. Uh, Latika called the ambulance and then went with her to the hospital. I'll call Arjun. Uh, Latika already did. Okay, thanks. Who's that? It's Mandy. I was meant to meet her at TCH today. If you're feeling up to it, you should go. There's nothing more you can do here. Update me. Sure. Uh, bye -bye. Okay. Okay. Mom? What? A mother can't hug her daughter? I'm just glad you're okay, that's all. How is uh, Natalie? Uh, she's calmed down. She's been warded. Her parents are on their way. Good. You want night call. Go home and get some rest. Uh, Dr. Raja, I thought I could stay back, see if I can help out with Natalie a bit. That's not going to happen. I've taken you off a case. What? Natalie went home to look for you. That has turned serious, Dr. Arjun. It's best you get as far away as you can from her. Yeah, but... Dr. I... Arjun, it's an order. I can... Uh, I can cook... I can cook Indian dish, Chinese dish, Malay dish. Amo one also can take care of children. I can take care of baby, one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old. Uh, of days, two Sundays in a month. Huh? Every Sunday... Every Sunday of day? Huh? Bagus? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Sana, bad news. 
What happened? It's Swati. Why? Hey, yeah, she's looking for a new employer. I heard her on the phone now doing interview. You see, I told you to quickly send her work permit application. You say wait. I will go and talk to her. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait again? You want her to stay or not? Hey, yeah, we have to plan properly. She's doing this sort of thing behind our back. We have to be very careful. What if we say the wrong thing, how? Huh? How did she find out where I live? She's a stalker. She must have followed you home. She followed you to lunch. You should go home. Not yet. I want to know how she's doing. Dr. Raja took you off the case, remember? It's not like I'm going to barge in there and administer treatment. I, I want to know if she's doing OK and, and what's wrong with her. Well, she was discharged because all her tests came back negative and her thyroid level is manageable. Yeah, according to my helper, Natalie just collapsed in a heap, as if her muscles gave way. That's an odd way of putting it. She was telling me she was in pain yesterday. I thought she was faking it. I would have thought the same thing. I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, we'll get to the bottom of this. Hmm. Yes, Dr. Raja. Yep, yes, he's still here. Okay, I'll let him know. Why didn't you answer your phone? Ah, it's dead. I forgot to charge. Boss wants to ask you some questions. Great. Hey. Yeah? Can I ask when did you and I get together? Um. Remember that day when Amir asked if you liked him? That was the day? Yeah. I mean, I think that was the day. He decided to be honest and upfront about his feelings. No. Oh. Amir's finished his paper. He's coming over. Bhaskar, here to pick Arjun up. I think uh, he could be in the washroom. That was quite a long chat you had. The patient uh, visited him in his house. I need to know what's going on. <laughs> you discharged her, didn't you? Yes, all her tests came negative, And whatever she did after leaving this hospital, it's totally out of her hands. That includes visiting a favorite doctor. What do you mean, favorite doctor? For some reason, Natalie thought she has the right to visit Arjun. Are you implying that Arjun was up to some monkey business with this girl? Is that it? Arjun could have unwittingly let her on. Since I said unwittingly. Listen, Raja. I know you need to do your job. But this time, please, do the right thing. Don't pin everything on Arjun, okay? Believe it or not, Bhaskar, I'm trying to help him. Pa, you're here. Ready to go? Yeah. See you tomorrow, Dr. Raja. So, did you nail it for marks? Who gets full marks for history? But I think I did well. That's great. See? I knew you could do it. Yeah. And thank you so much for having me spot the questions. And for all the engagement. Anytime. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm so sorry. It's fine. Hey, Mandy, where are you going? I think I'll study at home. I thought you wanted to study here. Isn't it too noisy at home? I guess you want some time alone. Mandy, wait. Thanks. You're a good friend. See you tomorrow. Arjun? Are you okay? Ma, I'm fine. What's wrong with that girl? The girl's name is Natalie. I'm sure she meant no harm. She was very worked up. 
It sounds like she has issues. Latika and Joy were really lucky nothing worse happened. You really need to be careful around patients like that. Yeah, I know. How can anyone blame Arjun for any of this? There's obviously something wrong with that girl. This could spell the end of his career. Ma. Believe me, Raja will find every opportunity to get you into trouble. Ma, the girl was under my care. All right? Raja is doing what he needs to do. What are you saying? Raja is gathering the facts. He hasn't accused me of any wrongdoing. And my conscience is clear. Nothing to worry about. Arjun is right, Mira. Let Raja do his job. Huh? I'm sure he'll do right by Arjun. Thinking about Mandy? <sighs> Hope she's okay. She's fine. Don't worry. See? She even give us some time together. I guess you're right. <sighs> I'm overthinking again. Sorry. You're a good friend to her. Actually, I'm happy that we get to spend time alone together. Ew! <laughs> Did that sound that soppy? Sorry. Yeah. But it's nice. Okay, stop staring at me and study. <laughs> yes, ma'am. What are you doing outside? I went to throw the trash. Where are you going? I'm... I'm meeting Chris. Bye. Okay. Bye. Oh, Baskar. Can I talk to you a minute? What is it, Tanya? It's about Raja. What about Raja? I know the two of you have... I know something happened in the past with the two of you, but judging from the way he looked after Joy in the hospital, I don't think he's that bad. Tanya. All I'm trying to say is that I don't think you have to worry about Arjun. I think Raja will do his best to prove that Arjun did nothing wrong. Yeah, he did seem concerned about Arjun. He's just concerned about himself. Raja is Arjun's supervisor. He is responsible for Arjun. If Arjun did anything wrong, he would get implicated. Um, but... Tanya, you don't know Raja like we do. This man always has an agenda, that is to protect himself. Mark my words, he will hang Arjun out to dry just like what he did to Baskar. Anyway, why are you so concerned about Raja? I... I just want this feud to end, that's all. It's been going on for too long, causing so much unhappiness. Unhappiness, that's an understatement. He framed Baskar, betrayed him and destroyed his reputation. Are you sure that it wasn't some sort of misunderstanding? He lied, Tanya, to protect his boss. After I left the hospital, he rose the ranks. He used me. He's nothing but a selfish bugger. Dr. Arjun, what are you doing here? You're not on call today, right? I came to collect my wallet. I left it at the office. How's Natalie? Any latest updates? Sorry, I can't discuss your case with you. Dr. Raja saw this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you better go. Please don't get me into trouble. Okay, okay. Pediatrics, Silver de Cruz speaking. Hold on, let me pull out the file for you. Wati, you come outside. Slur and I want to talk to you. Wati, is everything okay? Ma'am's not renewing my contract. Bye-bye, Melissa. Dr. Arjun. Natalie, how are you feeling? Happy. Dr. Rajas says 
I can't see you anymore. Why? Natalie, look. I'm your doctor. That's all. What you feel for me, it's just a crush. Do you understand? But... Look, Natalie, I'm sorry. You are just a patient to me. I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong idea. Sit down. So, uh, about your contract, huh? Ah, uh, Kong, I don't want you to leave. But she doesn't want to stay. No, ma'am, I want to stay. Huh? You want to stay? But you're looking for another job. You think I don't know? But that's because you don't want me to stay. What makes you think that I don't want you to stay? I saw you looking at the meat. You think I don't know? Mm. Ama, uh, are you really looking for other meats? Marisa, you know your Ama. She just likes to capo. See what the other meats are like. So, you want Mati to stay? Mati, do you want to stay? Yes, sir. I want to stay. Then it's settled. Mati stays. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Mati, sir. Yeah, Don't forget to renew her work permit. about to. Um, ben, I need to talk to you about something. What about? Well, our anniversary is coming up. Anniversary? Oh. <laughs> Did you forget that we're still married? <laughs> ben, we need to come to a decision about the divorce. We should talk to a lawyer, work out the best way to do this. We need to think about Grace. Do we have to... Tell the lawyer everything. Well, I mean, if it's the best way to work things out, then I think we should. Mm -hmm.